and that is why every year I wonder if this is something that I can continue to do. So excuse my face, but um, I just decided to do this quick video and share with you this moment. I I was sharing a post on um, YouTube about you know how weird it is to feel good about the baby goats finding a new home, and at the same time feeling sad because you're gonna miss them and that's pretty much part of the process every year so that's Dom over there Dom Jr. over there eating some hay and then over there is these two are having a moment um, over there is Bob which is Dom's twin if you remember he came out breached um, he is out of Briere, who tomorrow will start her twice a day milking. And um, I'm just, oh, look at him, he's making such a pose to pee. But he was weather, and Dom was too, so they're a little sad. I mean, I find that it takes them a couple of days to go back to normal and as they lose all their feelings. I also retouch their this body because I find that it's better when I weather them if I feel like they might get a little bit of a skirt or something to do it right at that time. Would you guys quit? Marshmallow, you're going to leave me naked, girlfriend. And that is why every year I wonder if this is something that I can continue to do. And I know it's, it's just part of life and this happens. And in order to have milk at the grocery store, you know, we need to have animals having babies. And I just, I don't know why it's getting harder every year to say goodbye to these kids. Breer is eating his umbilical cord. Dom Jr. Anyway, <laughs> just a sad day, but I'm happy that Dom Jr and his brother Bob are going to a really nice house. They're gonna have tons of room to play. They're gonna have, you know, a family that is really eager to give them all the attention and all the love that they need. And um, just, you know, I spent the day putting together a PDF with poisonous plants and with feeding charts and things so they know, they have an idea that they don't have to do the whole you know grain and they don't have to do anything like that because sometimes you know you think you get a goat and then you get grain for them they don't need it you know having a weather a boy that is castrated is one of the easiest way to own any goats because they're so easy to keep and I, I try to make a point and explain that to people and um, so it's been a day it's been a day but um, the boy seems to be doing great after I weathered them yesterday. Everyone is pretty content, including Clara, who's over there chewing the cud, looking very beautiful as always. And again, that's this is just the time of the year where it's time to say goodbye to the kids. Some kids are really hard to say goodbye to. Others, like those that like to chew on my hair constantly, or like Captain America over here who's the most handsome little goat. But oh my goodness. <laughs> he is a lot 
he's a lot. He's an attention seeker. This is Captain America reporting from the go pen. He is a love bug. And all he wants to do is... This is all what he wants to do. I am not holding him. I'm just petting his little chest. And he wants to put his face in my double chin area. <laughs> Yes, I love you. Well, let me tell you something. You remind me of your dad. Not only because of your blue eyes, but your your dad was a really high maintenance kind of boy. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, am I am I insulting you? I love you, little boy. You have a you go and be with your friends, okay? Go be with your friends. He's like, okay, thanks. Thanks, Grammy. He's like, okay. Thanks, Grams. Just pet me, Grammy. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so, so sweet. This is what he wants. <laughs> this is why he chews on my hair. And he does all that. That's his mom, Clara. You want to go with your mama? Do you want to drink some milk? you want to? You can. <laughs> go with your mama. It's like, okay, fine, I'll go. <laughs> and Clara is so done feeding this boy. Hi, young lady. Hello. Hello, my sweet mama. How are you? I'm assuming that you're doing great. Huh? I'm assuming?